here in round two, which will be a man. I've been here since the beginning of time. Uh, going on three years now. Uh, can't get enough of this place, so. <laughs> it's just a, a vintage shoe that's been around for a minute. Like, um, I know Air Max has come a long way with the 9.5s, 9.7s, you know, the 360s. It's a, it's a great running shoe. shoot. Before the fly knits and everything like that, it was Air Max. Uh, a lot of rappers back in the day rocked the Air Maxes. I always thought they were sweet. It was just the thing of, if you was in the 90s and you was collecting sneakers when the 95s dropped, you saw them in all the videos, you saw the rappers with them. It was just crazy. It was like the craziest running shoe at the time. You know, with the bubble around the bottom. Well, not all the way around the bottom, but, you know, I don't know. It's just a kick to get down with. The air bubble was like major. Like, I wouldn't even want Air Jordans if it wasn't for the air bubble. Tinker Hatfield, which is the, uh, the designer behind the Air Max, like, he just keeps finding new ways to reinvent himself. So I think the Air Max want to be relevant for quite some time. The first time I seen someone wearing Jordans was in second grade. My man Georgie had on the number four Jordans. They had the air bubble. The air bubble come from the Air Max sneakers. And seeing the air bubble in the sneaker was like one of the most revolutionary things that Nike ever did. Having an air bubble in your sneaker was, was mad fly. And to this day, like the Air Max can't go away. Like you can't replace it. You can't get rid of it. No matter what technology comes out, Ultra Boost, Bounce, Zoom, it doesn't matter what it is. And I'm not throwing shade at nothing. I'm just being honest. Like no matter what comes out, Air Max is always going to be relevant because Nike's always reinventing Air Max. But it was so revolutionary when it came out, it jumped way ahead. Like, it's so far ahead just in terms of style, in terms of stature and history. Like, it's still at the top. You can't get rid of it. Air Max is just like me and dear to like any collector's heart, anybody that's in the sneakers, you know, like 95s is a stick. I would definitely have to go with the Air Max ones. Uh, it's just a clean silhouette, uh, comfortable shoe with that too. Air Max 90 infrareds. Got my used pair. These are getting ready, going towards beat up phases. They should be cracking soon. Yeah, got a little cracks in there. They're gonna start cracking up. And then, gotta have a dead stock pair in the tuck, so that's why these ain't got no laces in them. Still fresh, brand new. Neon 95s. That's that's like the standard pair. The Air Max 95s, like I was saying earlier, like at first I hated Air Max 95s. I didn't think they fit. Then I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have another pair of Air Max 95s somewhere. And I got the Air Max 97s back here. Air Max 97s, Air Max 90s, my favorite Air Maxes. Like I'm still trying to find these joints in the gold colorway when they first came out. Completely. Completely loafed on those when Nike redropped those, but I gotta get the gold pair, gotta get a new pair of these. And then everyone forgets Air Maxes go beyond running Air Maxes. You got Griffey Air Maxes. Griffey Air Maxes. Those are the Griffey Air Max 2s. Griffey Air Max 1s. So it goes beyond, and that's what I'm saying. Like when Air Max came out, when the Air Bubble came out, and Nike did that, it was like, nah, we about to apply this to everything. And Nike was super winning with that Air Max design. So now they got new stuff, but they got to keep the Air Max in rotation because it's just that fly. Like, look at the colors, man. I don't got no rainbows in their room like this.